Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and the community here on COD Zombies HQ. If you do enjoy today's video, be sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you're not already for more daily news updates. You guys rocked 1,287 thumbs up on yesterday's daily update. That is awesome. Thank you. So let's see if we can top it with 1,500 thumbs up on this video. We have got a bunch of awesome news from the release of DLC 4 Revelation, so let's get right into the first story of the day. Guys, today DLC 4 Revelations dropped on PlayStation 4, but not without issues. While players were able to pre-download most of the map pack, the actual in-game patch that made that map pack playable wasn't pushed to the PlayStation Store until 55 minutes after the initial slated release. That prompted a bunch of big zombies YouTubers like NoahJ456 and Codename Pizza to tweet out Revelations or Riot, and the zombies community as its whole held its breath to see whether or not this patch would eventually be pushed out or not. Again, eventually the patch did start rolling out, but there's since been no comment on why this botched release happened. Now moving on to the second story of the day, guys, and this is awesome. NoahJ456, a huge zombies YouTuber, has just found how to upgrade the Apothecan Servant in DLC 4 Revelations. The upgraded Apothecan Servant is entitled the Estom Oath, and it's got an awesome blue Pack-a-Punch camo. The steps on how to upgrade it are still kind of hazy at this time, but of course we'll be bringing you updates in later days with more precise information. But when it comes down to it, the Apothecan Servant is finally upgradable and has been upgraded in Revelations. Now moving on to the third story of the day, guys. This has to do with weapons that are new in Revelations. If you tuned into my stream earlier in the day, you got a chance to sample all of these weapons. We ended up getting most of these from the box. But the Thunder Gun is back. The Thompson from Mob of the Dead returns. Coming from Multiplayer, the Banshee and the Rift E9 also are here. And we also got the Peacekeeper Mark II in Revelations. At this time, it seems like the two wonder weapons on Revelations are going to be the Apothecary Servant and the Thunder Gun. No third wonder weapon has been found as of this time. We also have a final list of all the maps that have remastered areas in Revelations, and that list is Origins, Mob of the Dead, Varukt, Nocturne Toten, Shangri-La, Kino Dirt Toten, and as well there's some elements from ZNS from Black Ops 3. So unless we get teleported, whether that's like to the boss fight or something that might have another remastered area, there is no moon or ascension, but only those maps I mentioned earlier. In terms of progress on the main Revelations Easter Egg, nothing is 100% clear as of now, but I will be bringing you updates as new steps are found. Now in terms of new perks in Revelations, there are no new perks from the Perkaholic, meaning there are no viable new perks, but there are something that we are calling purple perks, that are able to be earned. These purple perks seem to correlate with a mask that you're able to earn in game. We found out how to get the Stamina Up purple perk as well as the Juggernaut purple perk, and you can find links to tutorials in the description of this video on how to do that. Well, that wraps up today's video, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, be sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you're not already for more daily news updates. Before I ended off the show, I quickly wanted to thank Servanizer who donated $10 during the stream today where he asked, how do you think we'll get the staffs and if we'll get them at all? Guys, we have not had any information on if we can get the staffs in Revelations yet. If you guys remember, they're teased on the wall in Kino Der Toten, so man, I'm hoping we actually can get to play with them. This week is going to be jam-packed with news, and I can't wait to bring it to you guys every single day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you with another one tomorrow. Yeah.